This is week three focus on growing in Christ. Today we're looking at the proper attitude for praying. The basic teaching is that the Holy Spirit helps us pray with love, perseverance, and gratefulness. The discipline is attitude-adjusted praying. Last week's teaching was on what we should pray. To review the Bible, which is written as God's thoughts perfectly expressed by the Holy Spirit, directs and inspires us in what we should pray. The indwelling Holy Spirit also guides us in what to pray for. Today's teaching addresses how we should pray. From the Westminster Catechism, the question, with what attitude should we pray, is answered with love, perseverance, and gratefulness. In humble submission to God's will, knowing that for the sake of Christ, God always hears our prayers. Genuine prayer is always an expression of love, perseverance, and gratefulness. We are to pray with love. Love should be the driving force behind our prayers. We pray because we love God. Prayer is spending time with, communing with God, We're drawn to spend time with those we love, and the more time we spend with God in prayer, the more deeply we come to know Him, the more deeply we love Him, and the more we are drawn to pray, to spend time with our Father in heaven. This ongoing cycle grows our love for God in a beautiful way. We pray because we love others. As love for God grows, so grows the desire to please and obey Him. And obeying God is summed up in the commandments to love God and to love others. But also, when we love others, we want the best for them. And when we want for others that which is beyond our power to give, love compels us to pray. So the first question for the group is, How does love for God and love for others motivate your praying? We are to pray with perseverance. Perseverance is steadfastness in doing something despite opposition, difficulties, or failure. In praying, opposition and difficulties arise from Satan and from our own flesh. They may come in the form of distractions or lack of focus or things that compete for limited time and energy. Satan and our flesh will also tell us the lie that our prayers often fail. In truth, we cannot fail at prayer unless we fail to pray. The problem is when we try to measure success in terms of feelings, highs, or quick and obvious answers. Jesus taught his disciples to persist in prayer. One such teaching is ask, seek, and knock in Matthew 7, 7. I like one translation that especially emphasizes the need for perseverance. Keep asking and it will be given you. Keep searching and you will find. Keep knocking and the door will be open to you. Question two, what opposition do you experience in praying and how might you counter that opposition in order to persevere in prayer? We are also to pray with gratefulness. We pray with gratefulness because of the Lord's great love for us. Per Psalm 107.1, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. We pray with gratefulness because the Bible tells us to. We are directed to pray with thanksgiving in every situation. Philippians 4.6 And in all circumstances, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 through 18, even when it seems a sacrifice, Psalm 50, verses 14 and 23. 
As we, through the Holy Spirit, pray always with gratefulness, the Spirit enables us to see God's blessings in even the most difficult of situations. Prayer may not change our circumstances, but through the lens of gratitude, the Spirit opens our eyes to see God's grace and mercy in all circumstances. So the final question, think of a hard situation you or someone else is experiencing. How can you pray with gratefulness in this circumstance? For this week's discipline, ask the Holy Spirit to enable you to pray with the attitude that God desires. Practice praying with love, perseverance, and gratefulness. Focusing on one aspect at a time, ask the Holy Spirit to teach you to pray. For example, with love. Be alert to thoughts and scriptures God brings to mind. Ask the Holy Spirit to increase your love for God and for others. Expect God to bring specific individuals to mind and pray accordingly for them. Ask the Spirit to teach you to pray with perseverance. Ask Him to reveal and show you how to overcome opposition. Ask for increased faith to believe that for the sake of Christ, God always hears our prayers. Ask the Spirit to give you eyes to see God's good hand at work in all circumstances and to give you a heart always to pray with gratefulness. To review, the teaching is, the Holy Spirit helps us pray with love, perseverance, and gratefulness. The discipline is attitude-adjusted praying.